Hello, everybody, and welcome to Work Against the Grain. My name is Jeff. Wanted to talk to everybody today about utilizing the Vectrex software to mill four sides on a uh, on a leg without using the wrapping toolpath. So let me go ahead and pull up and show you what I'm talking about. So here I have what's going to be uh, a leg to a blanket chest and the material in white here as you can see here is two and a half on my X 20 and a half on my Y and it's two and a half inches thick but you'll see here that I have the thickness at one and a half because it is a four-sided square block I'm zeroing off of the center of the material so that gives me an inch and a quarter from the center to the top of the stock and an inch and a quarter from the center to the bottom of the stock giving me a two and a half inch thick piece and thus my Z zero is at the bottom of an inch and a quarter hope that makes sense it will when we get to the machine and then of course XY datum lower left we're gonna work in inches and go okay now again I am working two and a half inch piece wide this vector here is a three and a half inch wide piece and you'll see when we get to the machine that I'm starting with a three and a half inch wide material block I'm going to utilize this vector if I come over here to the tool pads this planing cut I'm utilizing this vector to do a pocket tool path go down a half inch on each of the four sides and so if I'm going to go a half inch on this side rotate at 90 a half inch then rotate at 90 another half inch rotate at 90 another half inch then I will take this three and a half inch square block down to two and a half inches keeping in mind that our Z zero or excuse me our XY zero is in the lower left corner of the material which is a two and a half inch block not a three and a half inch block so I'm not XY zero in the corner of the three and a half I'm XY zero in the corner of the two and a half and again you'll see when we get to the machine then I've got a tool path here for a dado that we're going to machine on two sides of the material then I have a profile path here that we're going to cut out and then I've got a, a, a vector here that we're going to machine just outside of that so I know where to take this to the table or the bandsaw and cut the stock off now this is for one of the sides then for the other side you can see here I'm utilizing here's that same three and a half inch block the same two and a half inch material piece but the profile cutout is on this side and again you'll see on the machine it's on this side of the material my dado is on this side because this is a a corner post to a blanket chest so the first one that I showed you had the panel coming in here then if you can imagine rotating 90 degrees to this we need to cut this dado and again it'll all come clear when we get to the machine but I wanted to show you here in Vectrec first how we're going to take the three and a half inch block do a pocket tool path get the material stock down to our two and a half inch material block and then do the machining okay and so this is Vectrec utilizing the fourth axis of our CNC your index recoil or lathe however you refer to it without using the wrapping tool path let's head over to the machine and have a look 
Okay, here we are at the machine, and I've got the V bit in the machine so I can get a nice, accurate XY zero. And I have it offset from the edge. The, the block that you're looking at there is three and a half inches wide, and I've got it offset there a half an inch from the left hand side so that as we pocket this down a half inch, rotate it 90, pocket that down a half inch from this zero position. Remember, it's gonna machine out to that three and a half inch vector, which is the edge of the stock here. And so that's how we line up our zero on the wider block. And now let's have a look and see exactly how we run the tool paths to plane the four sides so that we end up with a really nice square two and a half inch block. Alrighty, and now we're doing some cutting. It's a, uh, I believe I used a one and a half or a two inch surface planing bit for this. And it will uh, work through this and plane off side one. And I'll go ahead and speed it up a little bit for you. Okay, side one is complete, nice, smooth, square, perfect. And what I did just to make sure that everything was aligned properly is go ahead and get the calipers, throw it on here, and make sure that we've got a three inch block there uh, from bottom to top. And then of course we still have three and a half on the top. Alrighty, and then what we'll do is we will hit A90, it's the A axis, hit A90, we're going to rotate it 90 degrees, and we're going to run that same profile tool path on this side of the material, just as we did on side one. And we'll push start, 
and we'll let this thing go through its cutting. I'll speed it up a little bit and then we'll come back and look at side three. Okay, with side two all completed, what we are going to do now is rotate now. We'll type in A180, meaning we'll be 180 degrees from our first face. The stock will rotate here, and then we'll cut side three. Alrighty, uh, side three and four are cut. We now have a perfectly square, two and a half inch square block. I rotate the stock back to A0. So I'm right back to where I was on my first face. Go ahead and mic it here and make sure that we are at, uh, indeed at 2.5 inches. I believe I was within three, four thousandths of an inch on all four sides, which was really good. All right, if you look here, you can see that by setting our Z0, excuse me, our XY0 where we did, our bit that we're going to use to cut the dado lined up perfectly. And now here we go, we're going to, uh, this first section here is cutting the dado. And then you're going to see the big, long, three-quarter inch profiling bit. And you'll see the, uh, the profile of this particular face uh, get cut out. And I'll come back after that and explain what we do next. Isn't that some kind of profile bit? It's got like a, I don't know, four and a half inch reach. Cuts really, really well. Got very, very little chatter. Certainly had a little bit of sanding to do, but not much. Uh, just taking the feed nice and slow. So we're getting chips off. We're not just, you know, getting dust off. And so uh, this runs through and cuts down through all two and a half inches of the material. Now, if you recall, when we were in Vectrec, I told you we have two sides, right? So this is side one. And then when this is done, we're going to rotate the material 90 degrees and cut side two. All right, and so side one is finished. I rotated the material 90 degrees as you see here. Then we ran the dado cut first. And I was able because this um, of the position of the dado and the position of the profile cutout, I was able to run this in one tool path, the dado using tool three, 
and the uh, cutout using the uh, the proper spindle, which you'll see here in just a minute. I have to tell you, when I was cutting out the profile utilizing the proper spindle on this particular side of the material, it just absolutely cut it perfect. It's a lot of work for those Porter Cable routers to have to cut with that long three-quarter inch bit through two and a half inches. Uh, I was only taking, I believe, 0.2 uh, of an inch per cut, but it sure was working them. So you'll see here the finishing up of the dado on this side, and then uh, after that you'll see the uh, cutting the profile on that side so that we end up with the leg that we want. All right, here's the profile cut of the other side, or side two, I should say. Um, and then let me, let me move the camera around over here so you can see how that goes. Now, because of the orientation of the material and rotating at 90 degrees, right, it doesn't have as deep to cut right here. So we cut side one got rid of all of that material so when we spun it 90 degrees it's thinner up there at the top and so it it didn't have to work as hard and didn't have to take uh, remove as much material so uh, we'll let this run and uh, I'll speed it up a little bit uh, this is cutting the uh, uh, profile number two and uh, I'll show you the finished product Alrighty, so that's the milling of this corner post here. I apologize. I did not take pictures of the corner post by themselves. As you can see, they've got the panels already glued in it. But hopefully next week we'll take a look at the milling of the uh, styles and rails and panels of the blanket chest. I gave a little teaser last week, and we'll take a look at that hopefully next week. I really appreciate everybody watching. This is Work Against the Grain. My name is Jeff.